Oh, hello. I was just sitting here reading a book that I like to read on this night. It is Christmas Eve after all, and well, on Christmas Eve we celebrate a really important event, the birth of Jesus. Would you like to read the book with me? Come, join me. This book is called The Nativity, which means the birth. And it's about Jesus' birth, the most famous nativity of all time. In the days of Herod the king, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to the city of Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, and the virgin's name was Mary. Here's the angel Gabriel, ready to announce to Mary. And the angel said unto her, Hail, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled. The angel Gabriel descending down upon Mary. The angel said, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Thou shalt bring forth a son and call his name Jesus. Mary and Gabriel are sharing a cup of tea and some really important news. So Mary went to Joseph and told him what had happened. Her belly began to grow and grow and grow. It came to pass that Caesar Augustus, he was the ruler at the time, decreed that all the world should be taxed, everyone to his own city. Joseph helped Mary up on the donkey so that they could begin their travel. So Joseph went from Nazareth to the city of Bethlehem, with Mary his wife being great with child. All the people traveling to Bethlehem and to other cities all around. In the city of Bethlehem, people were bursting out of the buildings, everyone trying to find a place to rest their head after long, wearisome travel. And so it was that, while they were there, the day came that she should be delivered. See Joseph leading Mary to go deliver the baby. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and his baby Jesus. and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. They are resting after Mary's given birth. There were in the same country shepherds in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. When lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were sore afraid. And the angel said, Fear not, for I bring you tidings of great joy. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God. When the angels were gone, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go into Bethlehem to see this thing which is come to pass. And go the shepherds into Bethlehem. 
And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. The shepherds seeing the new baby Jesus. And behold, there came wise men to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star and are come to worship him. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it stood over where the young child was. And there goes the wise men. We hear more about them on Epiphany, twelve days after Christmas. When they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. The wise men departed into their own country, and the shepherds also returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen. And the child was called Jesus, which was so named by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Thank you for joining me for the reading this story. I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed Christmas this year. Let's say a little prayer together before we leave. Dear God, we thank you that on this day, your son Jesus came to be with us, to walk among us, to live as one of us to know the things that we know, to feel the things that we feel. We thank you, Lord, for this immeasurable gift. And we ask that you continue to be with us even in this day. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing of Christmas. Amen. Amen and have a blessed Christmas.